If you have one of these sliding glass doors, sometimes we call these Arcadia doors, and it's really getting hard to slide or it makes a lot of noise like this one does, all it usually needs is a cleaning and some relubrication. So let's get started. Okay, to remove these doors is a little trickier than just to lubricate them in place. If you just want to lubricate the door, there's usually a little hole at the end, sometimes it's on the side. You can take your oil, just spray it right in there and that'll help lubricate the door. But the best way to do this repair is actually to remove the door. Now, always have somebody help you because these doors are pretty heavy. Uh, I'm going to do it myself because these friends asked me, can you fix our door? And I have to kind of show them that I'm still strong enough to do it. So there's three ways to remove these doors and it involves lowering the wheels here so that the door will actually come out of its frame. We do that with a screwdriver stuck in at the hole. Sometimes some doors will actually be here on the side, the hole be on the side. And all you have to do is turn and that will raise or lower the door. In this case you want to fully lower it so that it'll clear the frame. Okay, so now we lift the door up, slide it backwards, and pop it out of its top frame. There we go. Now we'll take it outside and we'll look at the wheels. Okay, so I've laid the door out on a couple of saw horses, and I just wanted to show you what this mechanism looks like over here. We'll get in really close, but you can see this probably hasn't been cleaned in a long, long time. You'll always find spider webs and lots of gunk in there you can clean out. Let's look closely at these wheels and the adjusting mechanism. Here's a close-up of the actual mechanism. There's the wheel that rolls on the track, and there's your adjusting screw. And when we take our screwdriver and stick it through the front or the side of the door, that's what we're turning. We're actually turning that adjusting screw. That's what raises or lowers the door on the track. Remember when the door is raised on the track, that's what locks it into place. If we fully lower the door, that's what allows us to remove it. Now, you're going to want to lubricate the sides of that wheel where it pivots. And also, while you're here, go ahead and lubricate that screw so that when we turn it, it'll turn smoothly. That'll also allow the entire tracking mechanism to move up and down. Before you set your door back into place, you want to clean this track. Best thing to do is wipe it down and then vacuum up all of the dirt. Now we just stick the door back up into the upper part of the frame and lower it onto its track. Now grab the door, lift it up a little bit, put your screwdriver in, and lower those wheels again. So that whole assembly is riding on the track. There we go. While you're at it, go ahead and lubricate the latch mechanism as well. And that's all there is to it. For more tips, go to andyssuperoil.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.